Do you have a shoulder condition and you've been doing lat pull downs and rows and it's not getting any better? Perhaps you're not rehabbing the correct muscles. I'm going to go over a poster today which I created on the three P's of the shoulder. This one is on the rotator cuff and the biceps tendon called the protector group. Dr. Sebastian Gonzalez from Performance Play Sports Care in Huntington Beach, California. This is one of the graphics I made uh, and presented on my website that you guys can definitely take and steal and use the web version for. All I ask is you give uh, a little bit of credit. So if you want the actual file for it, go to p2sportscare.com slash shop and there's a little uh, area where you can put your um, email and I have all these on email form just to make it easy on myself and for you guys. You'll get one once a week. Now this section on shoulder condition is going to be on the three P's of the shoulder, which is a uh, term coined by Dr. Job back in the 90s. So we have the protectors, the pivoters, and the humeral positioners, so that's P's right there. Okay. What patients need to know and what they have to realize is these muscles of the shoulder area have different functions. So when we're talking about, hey, like I worked on my deltoid yesterday, how come my shoulder's not better? Well, you're working on positioners. Okay. Before that, you really need to have protectors and pivoters. Okay, you, you need to make sure that you find position before you actually move. Okay, and this goes for a lot of different types of joints. So in this video right here, we're going to go on the protectors first. So this is basically the rotator cuff group and the biceps long head tendon. Okay, they're responsible for keeping the bone socket or bone saucer from coming apart. So let's zoom in on this area right here. So now we have all of the bones of the shoulder, the scapula, the clavicle, the humeral head. And look how soft this thing is put together. Like it's not very, I mean, I feel like I just ripped the thing off like a chicken wing, you know. It's not very robust right there. Um, but, you know, it's like this for a reason because we've got a lot of motion in the shoulder. So we can't have uh, both a stable and a mobile joint 100% uh, either way without giving something up of the other. So... What we have here instead is we have these muscles, such as the rotator cuff and the biceps long head tendon, which will help stabilize this ball and saucer in the groove. So we see the biceps tendon comes right up here, and it crosses there and creates some anterior stability. The subscapularis right here, which is also on the front side, comes on the front side and creates more anterior stability. The supraspinatus and teres minor and infraspinatus they do work from the back side, and they kind of drive this thing. They drive the ball and socket centralized, or as they drive the ball centralized into the saucer, and that's what creates that dynamic stabilization, what we're looking for of the actual ball and socket together. Okay, guys, next time we're going to go through the pivoters, and then we're going to go into the positioners. So if you do want this for your wallet or office, go to p2sportscare.com. Uh, slash shop and I can put all your own personal branding on this um, they come in 16 by 20s currently we also have vinyl prints that you can do um, and take to expos so patients can learn about what their condition is because we all know that patients and people they have to have a little, little bit of interest first before they're really ready to absorb rehab treatments and just ways they can change their body for the better so um, I have a whole other uh, I have a bunch of resources on this, by the way. Um, if you want to go to my website, I have a accumulation of a ton of different articles on shoulders, as well as we have this month, we have podcasts on the shoulders and lots of experts to go along with um, your knowledge for the shoulders. So I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, share this with friends, and that's why I do all this.